Hi everybody, I want to do an update um, regarding something quite serious actually. Um, I haven't been able to talk about it until now because I had to make sure everything um, was in order and I'm talking about it now because it is a very important issue. Last Friday, two men came to my home in West Cork. I believe that they are from Dublin and Navan. And they terrified me and my autistic son. My son is 25 and he was at home with me um, whilst the rest of my family were out at the beach. I wasn't feeling well. I've already spoken about that. Um, these two men stayed outside my gate for two hours. It took a long time for the guards to come. And I'm living in fear since that event last Friday. And it has caused um, horrendous damage to my son and to the rest of my family because we don't know if these people are going to come back. We don't know what they're capable of. Now, when these two individuals came to my house and wouldn't leave, I got papers. So they basically had um, papers, um, not in an envelope, they were waving them at me. And uh, these papers fell outside my gate. When the guards came, copies of these papers were presented to the guardie. Now the guards took these papers away for the weekend to verify if they were real or not. And I spent the whole weekend trying to do the same. However, at the beginning of the week, the guards confirmed that they are real. And I was actually served, um, meaning that these two individuals, these two males, are suing me in the High Court in Dublin. I've also made a statement with the guardie here in West Cork this week in relation to the terrorising event and the harassment that I got, as did my son, my autistic son. And I'm focusing on that because my son has a disability and this has caused him great harm. Can't sleep, my other children having problems sleeping as well. And like I said, I'm not allowed to be alone in the house now in case these men come back. What a way to live. Anyway, I've made this statement with the Guardian and they were very good. And, um, you know, I'm trying to press charges against these two men. That's one issue. But like I said, these papers I got are real. And these men are suing me because I speak out against MMS. People know that. I've been campaigning for five years against this bleach product that they're giving to autistic children. A banned toxic poison. But unfortunately, there are crazy people out there believing it can cure autism and other conditions. I've been to the courts. We have prosecuted a man in 2016, Patrick Merlin. And um, I'm on my way next week again to give evidence. Um, in relation to a fitness to practice hearing. I can't talk too much about that, obviously. So my whole life is basically tied to um, being a witness and, um, you know, liaising with the authorities, the HPRA, Tulsa, the Guardi, in relation to this um, awful um, MMS product. So I'm being sued and um, I have no um, financial ability to fight this case on my own. I'm a carer and um, I went and got some advice from a free legal aid um, appointment on Thursday evening and I got some very good advice. I wasn't aware of how this all works. I've never been sued. I've never been brought to court before in my life and um, I was advised to put in an appearance so I've done that. I've done that in the last few days meaning um, if you don't put in an appearance to someone you know, was serving you papers, they can then go forward and put a judgment against you, so on and so forth. So I've done that. So basically, I'm fighting these two individuals and plan to counter sue for the harassment that they have caused my family. Um, this solicitor that I spoke to, this legal aid solicitor, told me that this is a public interest case because of what I've been doing for the last five years, campaigning to protect the public from this dangerous quack treatment, MMS. I've sacrificed my time. I've done this on a voluntary basis. All I've received for all the work I've done, which is nobody realizes how much work has gone into this. Well, some people do. Uh, my colleagues and some of my friends are aware of the work that I've done. And... Um, it's, it's for the public I've done this. It's for children, mostly, actually, to protect children, especially autistic children. And I'm calling on the public right now to support me, 
to support me in fighting this outrageous case that has been brought against me. I'm entitled to speak out about this product. This product is illegal in Ireland. This product maims and kills. It is an abusive practice created by a cult called the Genesis 2 Church. The individuals involved in this, um, you know, suing against me or whatever, um, are watching me, are watching what I'm saying, what I'm doing, and I'm not mentioning their names because of that. But I'm calling on the public, be it politicians, people from the science community, autism organisations, anybody, the media, please, please get in touch with me because I'm doing this for the greater good, to protect our children from this horrendous product, which is still circulating in Ireland. Just to let you know that, I have discovered this recently as well. I can only do so much on my own. And I think for the people that know about my campaign work, they can say I've never given up and I've had some horrendous abuse um, thrown at me over the last few years. And more recently online, it's been absolutely horrendous. But this event last Friday was the final straw. You know, and I am trying to recover from that, as is my family. And we can't, because we have to go to give evidence, like I said, in relation to this case next week. So please, um, this is the situation I'm in. I'm being sued by people that don't like me speaking out against this product, MMS, people that support the anti-vaccine movement as well. Um, please, please get in touch with me if you can offer me some support, be it legal advice, um, any way of going forward of this. I will be very grateful. And I want to thank everyone that has offered me advice so far. Um, a few people know about this privately. And um, I want to thank everyone that supports our campaign because without your support, we wouldn't be where we are now. And I'm very grateful for that support. Please um, share this video and thanks for watching. Bye.